So let's finally talk about the non Nintendo news that we're going to talk about this podcast. So, um, so there's okay, there's Player Unknown Battlegrounds. This game has been sweeping the world right now. Uh, they recently announced that it sold over 10 million copies. Um, so there's been companies that have taken notice of this, and they're coming out with their own, uh, basically competition for this. So there's Grand Theft Auto, of course. They have the new Smuggler's Run uh, stuff that they came out, and they have their own take on it, but it's a team-based take. It's not one on 99 people, like everybody against each other, you know, right? You actually have teams in the Grand Theft Auto one, so it's not exactly the same thing. It's more of a, like, it has that concept of kind of parachuting in and stuff like that and, you know, fighting in a huge open world, but it's teams, you know. So essentially it's just like, playing a normal Grand Theft Auto deathmatch, except in a lot bigger map, essentially. Um, now, there's another game that recently came out. It's called Fortnite. This is actually the newest Epic Games uh, game. And it's a really interesting shooter that uh, combines that with, like, crafting and open world, like, horde exploration kind of stuff. So you can actually build buildings and stuff like that in this game. And you deal with hordes of enemies and stuff like that. It's getting its own player unknown battleground style gameplay uh, with Hunter Man Last Man Standing, but with the mechanics of this game. And by Epic Games, which is a much better like studio in terms of infamy, right? Like this company that makes player unknown, I forget the name of the company, it's like Bluebird or something like that. They just popped out of nowhere, you know? And they teamed up with this famous online gamer, Player Unknown. Uh, whereas Epic has been around for over two decades. I mean, this is the company that Cliff Blazinski put on the map, putting out games like Gears of War and Unreal Tournament. And now they're jumping in on this. This is really interesting. I'm really wondering if this might uh, kind of stave off the fervor of Player Unknown Battlegrounds or if maybe. This won't be enough. Mm. I mean, do you do a lot of multiplayer shooting games, or? Um, honestly, no, no, I don't. I mean, it's just like I mentioned before. If it's not dealing with like the MMORPG space, I really don't mess too much with multiplayer. I may dabble in it from every now and then, like say with maybe Uncharted Four multiplayer or something yep. like that. I mean, but other than that, no, I don't. I don't really really dabble in that. I got you. Well, in, in a way, this does have some MMO aspects to it, I would say. Mm -hmm. You know, just because of the fact that it's a it's a massive world, you know, it's not like a confined thing, you know, so it's a lot more open like an MMO. It just doesn't have that constant progression. It's literally a game of survival. You land on the map, you use what resources you can find, and you take out the other players to be the man on top. You know, that's the objective every time. And, of course, with the player known Battlegrounds, it kind of builds on this dynamic by shrinking the map slowly as you progress through the game. So the map gets smaller and smaller. So if you're that person that tries to hide at the edge of the map and camp, well, you're going to have to eventually move your ass, you know, if you want to stay in the game. Oh, yeah, right? absolutely. And that can expose you to other players and they'll see you and maybe they'll take you out instead, you know, you know, instead of you camping the whole game. Right. That's true. Um, but, you know, I'm kind of curious if this game will have such a mode like that or if it's not going to have that. And if it doesn't have that, how they're going to balance the game for it to not take forever, <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah. But, yeah, it, it, I can I just see this kind of continuing because of the competition that there's just going on. But if Epic is successful here, it makes me wonder if maybe Microsoft made a bad call on backing player unknown battlegrounds because this is a game that you can play on everything else the ps4 and pc have it everything has this game fortnite so like you know at that point like whatever money or whatever that microsoft might have coughed up for exclusive you know exclusivity of player unknown battlegrounds and console will even be worth it you know like if somebody else comes out with something that first comes out before this player known does for Xbox and does it better too. Like what would be the point of even getting that game then? 
Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that's definitely true. Yeah. Of course, hmm. you know, it's tough to say if it'll be better. Uh, they're having, I think it's September 26th or something like that, they're going to have the update that's going to make this available. They're doing a public test, so it sounds like it's probably going to be buggy. But I've seen player-known Battlegrounds footage, and that's not exactly a polished game either, so it'll be an interesting race to the top. Subscribe to the DPN Me on the iTunes. Do now! Get to the chopper! They took it down! Now!